Hello beautiful plant people, Botanical Brother here. This video is all about fertilizing your plants and NPK ratios. A basic understanding of plant nutrition is going to help you take much better care of your plants. I do recommend either taking notes or screenshotting the different slides so that you can refer back to it in the future. Like humans, plants need several nutrients in order to be healthy and function properly. The most important three out of the 17 nutrients they need are nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. Most fertilizers display on the package somewhere a set of three numbers, which is called the NPK ratio. This ratio is simply the percentage by weight that each of these nutrients exists in the bag or container of fertilizer. A 10 pound bag of fertilizer with the NPK ratio of 5, 20, 10 would contain a half pound of nitrogen, two pounds of phosphorus, and one pound of potassium. First up, we have nitrogen. Nitrogen is the most important nutrient for your plant growth. Plants cannot make chlorophyll without nitrogen. Chlorophyll is essential because it is what is used to turn light into energy. Chlorophyll is also responsible for the green color of your plants. Nitrogen also influences the speed of plant growth and encourages lush foliage. It's needed to form protein. If a plant cannot make protein, it will die. A plant with inadequate amounts of nitrogen will suffer from stunted growth. Leaves with no nitrogen will turn yellow. This yellowing of a leaf is called chlorosis. When a leaf can't produce enough chlorophyll, it is considered chlorotic. Next up is phosphorus. Phosphorus provides the energy necessary for the transport of nutrients throughout your plant. It's crucial for reproduction. It increases the size, quantity, and health of seeds, fruits, vegetables, and flowers. Phosphorus increases speed of plant growth, promotes healthy root growth, and helps your plant resist diseases. A plant with inadequate amounts of phosphorus may suffer from dark green, purple, or red discoloration of leaves. Other signs may be stunted growth, unhealthy flowers, and little to no seed production. Fruits and vegetables grown with inadequate phosphorus levels will have shorter shelf life. Last but not least, we have potassium. Potassium makes your plants more drought tolerant, makes your plants less sensitive to temperature fluctuations, regulates the way the plant responds to light, promotes starch and protein production, which both feed your plant, helps your plant move water and nutrients from the root system to the leaves, aids the plant in its ability to excrete waste, and it helps your plant fight off disease. A plant with inadequate amounts of potassium may suffer from stunted growth, increased sensitivity to temperature changes, curling leaf tips, and decreased seed and root development. So where do you start? If you want to start fertilizing your plants, I recommend starting with a fertilizer like the one below, which has a very small amount of each nutrient in it. The NPK ratio of this fertilizer is 111. That means that it has 1% nitrogen, 1% phosphorus, and 1% potassium. This fertilizer is water soluble, so I recommend mixing it with more water than what is suggested on the bottle. This will ensure that you do not over fertilize your plants. Plants can also be over fertilized due to the frequency, so as a beginner, you should do it only roughly every two weeks per plant until you start to learn more about what your plants need. If it is winter or your plant is a slow grower, less frequent fertilizing is recommended. Do not fertilize a plant that is super dry. This can send the plant into shock. Instead, water your plants, wait a while so the roots can drink, fertilize, then water a little more to flush the nutrients down into the root system. Just to sum things up, nitrogen is the most essential nutrient. It's needed for chlorophyll production and it promotes lush green growth and overall vigor of your plants. Phosphorus, it's essential for healthy root development, plant reproduction, and disease resistance. Potassium increases drought tolerance, helps create starch and proteins, regulates light intake, and helps your plant fight off diseases. Each of these three nutrients provides several benefits for your plants. As you learn to identify deficiencies of each of these, you will be able to give each plant exactly the type of fertilizer it needs. Please give this video a thumbs up if you learned something new today, and please subscribe if you like my content. Stay beautiful. I'll see you in the next one.